this is Captain Chaudhary. What happens if a double bottom is damaged? What happens when the double bottom is damaged when it was full of ballast water, like having the same density as the density outside that is the sea water? So uh, one must understand that in the loaded condition when the DB was empty, if the double bottom gets damaged, positively there is going to be sinkage. But what happens when the double bottom is full in ballast condition? So one school of thought would say that when uh, the double bottom gets opened like this, right? the water here is not the property of the ship anymore. Water in this double bottom now belongs to the sea. That means this water will not cause any free surface effect. This water will not cause any weight on the ship. right? So this water is disconnected with the ship. Now the ship was holding this water. And now the ship is not holding this water, which means the displacement of the ship should have reduced, which means the ship should rise from the original water level. Yes. What do you say? The vessel should rise. But then there is another school of thought who says that the entire underwater of the ship was providing the buoyancy. Now this particular portion has lost the buoyancy. It is not providing the buoyancy anymore. So buoyancy providing uh, capability of the ship is reduced. That means ship is not able to uh, provide the buoyancy which is required for the weight of the ship. So the reduction of buoyancy would mean that the ship should sink. But actually, if you have the density of water in the double bottom, same as the density of water outside, you will appreciate that after bilging, the ship neither goes up nor comes down. So hypothetically, if you have all the double bottoms which are underwater, getting damaged you will not know about their damage you will not find the change of draft you will not find the change of trim so that's why we have to be very careful so mathematically we will prove that the draft does not change the trim does not change but this is a serious thing in case a double bottom is damaged in the ballast passage you are going with the double bottom full and you don't come to know that the double bottom is breached let's take the situation of a box vessel whose length is say 150 meters and it has a midship compartment let's take the length as 12 meters and there is a double bottom whose height is 2.4 meters and the ship sails on the initial even keel draft of 7.2 meters the kg of the ship is say 6 meters so uh, there is ballast over here 1.0 to 5, outside sea water is also 1.0 to 5. Now this is the first question I am doing with you where I am talking about the density of water inside or outside. Earlier to this when we considered the empty compartment damage or when we considered uh, a compartment with the dry rigid cargo getting damaged we never talked about the density of water outside. right? That's how it is, loss buoyancy method or intact underwater volume method. But now here, I have told you what is the density of water outside. This is because we are dealing with a compartment that has got liquid. And when originally there is liquid inside the compartment, we cannot apply the constant displacement principle. So to apply constant displacement principle, whenever there is a liquid in the compartment to be damaged, then we on paper, should remove the liquid make the compartment empty and once you have got the empty compartment ship then you damage that compartment right so uh, let us remove this uh, liquid uh, from double bottom what is the weight of the liquid so it is 12 into say the breadth is 24 meters 12 into 24 into 2.4 into 1.025 so that is 12 into 24 into 2.4 into 1.025 let's see it is how much 708.48 708.48 tons and the kg of this water is 1.2 meters what is the displacement of the ship let's look at the displacement uh, the length of the ship is 150 into 24 into initial draft is 7.2 into 1.025 
that gives me 26568 26568 and the kg of the ship is 6 meters so let us do the calculations about uh, finding out new kg as uh, hypothetically or on the paper we remove this weight from the double bottom so let's do the calculation that is weights in ton then you have kg in meters and then you have vertical moments in tons meter two six five six eight with the kg six meters right and then from here we remove seven zero eight point two We remove 708.5 tons of the ballast with kg 1.2 meters. So the kg after removal of the ballast from the double bottom tank would be 158557.8 divided by 25859.8. That gives me 6.132 meters. So uh, it is this way that to get to the constant displacement principle, we remove the liquid out of the compartment to be damaged, and thereby the kg of the ship becomes 6.132 and this kg would be considered as the kg that will not change after the damage right initial kg was 6 meters but that was with the liquid in the compartment now we have this 6.132 as the kg when double bottom is void of the liquid now we will also try to find out with this new displacement that is 25859.52 there is a new displacement without the ballast what the draft is going to be Right? The ship is not damaged, but we want to know what will be the draft if this uh, double bottom is pumped out. So that will be displacement divided by length into breadth into 1.025. That will give me the draft. So let's calculate 25859.5. That is a displacement divided by bracket starts. Length of the ship is 150 into 24 into 1.025. Bracket closes. That gives me 7.008 meters. So uh, 7.008 meters is the initial draft and the kg 6.132 for a fresh calculation by constant displacement principle. So we're going to do the fresh calculations after this. So it is like we are going to do a damage below the flat that is a double bottom. 100% permeability because the entire compartment is empty and the water is going to enter. The initial draft is 7.008 that will decide the intact underwater volume. And in future whatever calculation we are doing, wherever we will use the term intact underwater volume, it will be 150 into 24 into 7.008, not 7.2. If somebody does 7.2 to find out the intact underwater volume he would be making mistake and the kg that will not change till the end is 6.132 meters now to do a fresh calculation by constant displacement method we say that the vessel was on even keel floating at the draft 7.008 so let us see let's puncture the uh, db tank so loss buoyancy would be 12 into 24 into 2.4 meters right this is the loss points intact water plane area is the entire water plane area is undamaged so intact water plane area will be 150 into 24 so this ratio gives me the sinkage and the sinkage would be say 12 into 24 into 2.4 divide by bracket 150 into 24.192 sinkage is 0 0.192 and the interesting thing is when I add this sinkage to the initial draft 
initial draft that is 7.008 what I get is 7.2 meters so I come back to the original draft so conclusion from this is if there is seawater inside the double bottom to be punctured and seawater outside the draft will not change so the conclusion is even if 10 double bottoms get punctured and they are all underwater right the draft will not change the trim will not change the uh, ship handler will not know that the draft has increased or the trim has changed because the draft or trim will not change so this is a dangerous thing one has to be cautioned against in ballast passage these double bottoms which are underwater they get damaged they had the ballast water and they get damaged you will not come to know unless you have taken the sounding and inside sounding is equal to the draft outside right so uh, uh, that is a different matter let us uh, do the calculations now like uh, uh, we have found out the new draft now uh, 7.2 meters draft is the draft after the damage so that should be considered as total underwater volume right when we want to find out the kb the procedure is we take the moment of the total volume and from there i remove the volume of uh, unused volume or the volume that will not support the buoyancy like we did in the last question so uh, total volume will be 150 into 24 into 7.2 bracket close to indicate that this is the volume multiplied by 7.2 upon 2 that is 3.6 from this I will minus uh, 12 into 24 into 2.4 this particular volume is removed multiplied by 1.2 because the centroid of this tank is 1.2 meters above the keel and when I divide this by the intact underwater volume that is 150 into 24 into 7.008 not 7.2 meters let's do this calculation 150 into 24 into 7.2 into 3.6 equals minus bracket starts 1 2 into 24 into 2.4 into 1.2 bracket closes equals 9 to 4 8 2.56 divide by bracket starts 150 into 24 into 7.008 bracket closes that gives me 3.666 meters this is 3.666 meters this is the KB of the vessel we have found the KB as usual by taking the moments of volumes about the keel now let us find out the BM this was the KB now let's find out the BM as far as the BM is concerned there is a good news that the water plane area is not damaged if the water plane area is not damaged it's a good news for doing the calculations calculations become easy it is also good news stability wise stability wise it is good news because if the water plane area is not getting damaged the BM for sure will not reduce BM will be same as before or maybe it will increase so let's see what happens to the BM so the BM will be residual moment of inertia of water plane area divided by V intact so let us see what is the residual moment of inertia of water plane area this has to be divided by intact under water volume and that would be 150 into 24 into 7.008 that is the initial draft that is what will decide the intact underwater volume so if you cancel it so the 150 gets cancelled this way and this 24 it should be cube here the 24 will cancel 3 to 2 so you have 24 square on top divide by 12 into draft so 24 square is equal to 576 divide by bracket 1 2 into 7.008 bracket closes that gives me 6.849 6.849 is the BM 6.849 meter is the BM so the BM is 6.849 meters and KB is 3.666 meters the total is 10.515 meters that is km now what is the kg to be used now to find out the gm the kg to be used is the constant kg that is 
one, three, two. So the GM which we get is four point three eight three meters. This is a GM four point three eight three meters. That is a GM after a double bottom that was full of ballast water is damaged. I think uh, you would also want to know what was the GM before the damage. So before the damage, KB was 3.6 meters, BM was B square upon 12D, that is 24 into 24 equal to divide by bracket 1, 2 into 7.2 bracket closes, that gives me 6.667. 6.667 so what is the km? km is uh, 7, 6, 10.267 and what was the kg of the ship before damage? 6.000 was the kg so 7.62 4.267 meters look at the gm earlier the gm was 4.267 now the gm is 4.383 the gm has increased the double bottom gets damaged and the stability, the GM of the ship has improved from 4.267 to 4.383. Let us find out why. What happened to the KB? KB earlier was 3.6 meters and KB afterwards increased somewhat probably to 3.667 or something like that. So what was the reason that the KB improved? So let's look at the process of damage. This was the double bottom. Earlier when we pumped out the ballast, the draft decreased. And because the draft decreased, and as you know, the ship is undamaged, half of the draft was KB. So actually when we pump out the liquid, the KB reduced. But later on what happened? The buoyancy was lost here, and the buoyancy was gained at water plane area. Right? Because the buoyancy is lost here, and buoyancy is replenished at water plane area, what happens is, the B moved upwards and it moved beyond even 3.6 meters. That is what happened to the KB. Now what happened to the BM? BM earlier was B square upon 12D. So that was uh, 24 square upon 12 into 7.2. But you have seen afterwards for using the constant displacement method, I will not use the draft as 7.2. I will use the draft 7.008 to decide what is intact under water volume. In other words, the BM afterwards became 24 square divided by 12 into 7.008. So you see the denominator has reduced because instead of 7.2, I'm using 7.008. And because the denominator has reduced, the overall value of BM has increased. So this is how KB also has increased. BM also has increased. So this is a learning lesson for us. As far as the damage stability is concerned, please remember, now let's see if you have slightest of doubt in respect of the stability of the ship and you feel that a uh, double bottom can be filled up, you should go ahead. Because remember, weights are welcome, but at the bottom, undamaged compartment or the buoyancy, intact buoyancy is welcome at the water level, right? The other way around, the buoyancy at the keel and the weights on top would be it would be something like a person jumping into the swimming pool with life jacket tied up on the legs. What will happen? Legs up and head down. So please understand this as a golden rule. Whether a double bottom gets filled up or it gets damaged. In either case, the stability is likely to increase. The GM is likely to increase.